Let's learn how to add, copy, and delete records. In Impulse, I will need to add, edit, and sometimes delete records. To start, I will add a record. This can be done by clicking on the plus symbol located at the top right corner. There are two required fields in Impulse, the ID field and the description field, or the name field if I'm adding a new employee record. The ID field will be populated with the next sequential number assigned. I will need to give a description to this work order. Once I have given that name, I have the option of pre-filling out other fields. In this example, I will just save. Now I can save or I can also cancel this work order. Cancel would allow me to prevent any changes from being made to this record. Note that after I've saved, I now have the ability to edit my record. I can do so in one of two ways, either with the pencil at the top right hand corner, or I could also edit an individual field, for instance the description, by clicking on that field and then clicking on its pencil as well. Besides adding a work order, we can also talk about copying this work order. When I press the copy button, as you can see a secondary test work order copy, or work order number two, has been created. If I have created this work order in mistake, or I want to remove a work order, I can come over to the third button, which is the delete button. When I press this button, I will be prompted to delete the selected record. Make sure with this powerful feature that you will give the correct access rights to be able to add or delete work orders. It should be determined what groups will be able to add and delete records. For questions about this or any other topic, please feel free to email us at support at impulsesoftware.com or you can always give us a call at 1-800-944-1796.